Wait, have you gone to church? I've been just there at Church of Wanga, Gina Jennings Church. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 church, man, I go. I don't want to go to church. What about, what about his church? In theme church, he preached the real thing from the Bible. So mm-hmm. Certain things with the world are alone now. The man are born it straight. Like a Rasta man, but he's a pastor. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Man burn, um, divorce and married. I never know that against God, like, till the man show me that in the Bible. Say, if you're married and divorced, you can't marry again until whoever divorced from dead. Oh, that yes. is when you're free. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You never know that till that. Not about but wait. Look how much church my pastor have two, three, four wife, and them still alive. Mm-hmm. So man, them know the pastor. Them do them thing they know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I say you are genie from a genie. I'm not in a church, brother. Wow. You are like Christian. You no know, disrespect to one, but a genie or Jennings. Yeah. I live at Pennsylvania Avenue, Philadelphia. Oh yeah, we get introduced. Oh, you know about Gino. One day I'm there and see him on Sunday morning, I clean up in my cell and because English really come on and see him. Yeah, that's Sunday what I'm mm-hmm. So film program come on 8 30. So I'm there one day I'm attacking. Man say, yo, we go war. We give you hand to hand combat. If you want foot to foot, if you want Bible combat, we give you that. I'm about how the pastor that talks so. I'm bad, Mr. Madi. So I'm saying, no. So I'm turn up the TV, so I'm still, so I'm stuck in a listen to the whole black here, I listen to the whole black quiet now. Yeah. And I'm going to say, see if I him usher out Vegas out of the church. Yeah, yeah. Usher him out of the church. Yeah, yes. yes. You man, not play with people then, man. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm saying, yo, I'm rape the pastor, yeah. Wow. Mm. Because he's fight of hand to hand combat. What? Yeah, it's man, about man. love. Sean, wow. it's about love. Yeah, well, it's about love. <laughs> yes. And unity. And working together mm-hmm. in harmony. Mm-hmm. In teaching, he said, the same God will say love. The Bible says, I am the Lord, I God. Mm-hmm. I kill, I heal, I make whole. The same God will say love. So, mm-hmm. yeah, love is there, but on the other side, I do mm-hmm. exist. But Gina balance. Jennings show them, balance. Gina Jennings preach them, balance them the same word. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to get caught up in this fantasy and fairy tale about God now. Mm. God will kill you if you sleep. Mm-hmm. True. That's true. So, the man will show them reality to the pastor, I the road. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Like in teach you, at least from watching him preach, you learn for. Forgive. No, no. Yeah. I tell you if you watch one of the man program, bro. Mm. That's one, bro. Mm. I got to see what I'm talking about. Brother, I'll, I'll tattoo the man preach, but when the man start preach, I'm going to lick us up. <laughs> That's right. And these instructions going to come from the word of the Lord. That's right. Look at the very heading of the book. The word of God. Word. The word of God. Right. Not the word of men. No. That means God himself. And you viewers who get mad at me, and all I bring you is the word, the word. of God. They fighting me bitterly for them two and three wives. And mm. one man wrote, one man comment, I smoke, I go to bed smoking. I don't see nothing wrong with it. <laughs> you won't see nothing wrong with it until the doctor give you three more days. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's right. Am I right, I said? When the doctor tell you you got three more days or three more months, right then you want to become a Christian. That's right. As long as you got your health acting like a fool, oh, yeah. then you said you don't see nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it. The term Christian meaning Christ-like. Christ. Christ-like is a lifestyle. That's right. It's bigger than coming to church. Anybody can come to church. Roaches come to church. Oh, yeah. Come to church more than you and make babies in church. That's right. It's a lifestyle. Right. When you look at the scriptures, Jesus, who was God manifested in the flesh, he taught his apostles all the same thing. That's right. Peter didn't go out being the first pope like the Catholics lied. No. Paul didn't start Protestant. Matthew didn't start Lutheran. No. John wasn't a bad. None of that stuff. None of that. None of that. He gave them all the same thing, same thing and sent them all out to preach the same thing. That's right. You that are here in Washington, D.C. and the world, mm-hmm. do you know you should be able to go into every church oh, yes. and hear one message? One message. Just one. That's right. Just search the scriptures. That's right. You didn't have Baptist, Methodist, Presbyterian, and Lutheran. Don't go tell me John the Baptist, his religion wasn't Baptist. No. If his religion was Baptist, then that means he would be in trouble. Because John said, I'm not the light. Not the light. I am not the light, but I come to bear witness of, of the, the light. Of the light. John said, one come after me, he's mightier than I. And he's going to baptize you with the Holy Ghost. Thank God and that with fire. With fire. 
Come on, son. 2 Thessalonians 2, we're at verse 3. Yes. Let no man <coughs> deceive you by any means. Uh, for that day shall not come. Listen at this. That day shall not come. The coming of the Lord is not going to come yet until. Except there come a falling away first. 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 There's going to be a mass backsliding. That's right. Men and women. That's right. Preachers. So-called bishops, elders, prophets, deacons, That's right. mothers, them that believe in sanctification, That's holy. Right. That's right. Many of them are going to turn their back on God. Amen. It's already happening. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's hard to find now a holy church. That's right. But it's easy to find a church that's nothing but a club. Yeah. Do you hear this? Let no man deceive you by any means. Glory to God. For that day shall not come. That day shall not come. Except there come except a falling away there first. There come a falling away, away first. 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 Now, that means this. The Bible said if you build up again, give me that. Yes. The things you destroy. Destroy. You make yourself a transgressor. You that is in these apostolic churches and non-denominational Pentecostals in D.C. and the state of Maryland in the world, mm -hmm. I want to show you the signs of the falling away. That's right. The falling away is when you got a preacher that was strict yep. and believe in strictness in the church. That's right. He was adamant about living holy, mm -hmm. living right, and putting God first. Telling the people that God's way is right. Let's do it like the scripture says. That's right. But then his work start to swell. That's More right. people start to come in. Yeah. Crowd get bigger. So now things that the church used to did not allow. Right. He preached against Christmas. Yeah. Because there is no Bible that says Jesus was born December 21st, ain't 25th. Ain't no Bible said that, you old liar. No. And he stood firm on it. That's but right. then when the crowd got bigger, now Christmas parties in church. That's right. He preached the truth that there is no Bible that says Jesus rose on Easter. And it isn't. No. You pagan hypocrite. That's right. He stood on that, but then when the crowd got larger, yeah. Easter egg hunts for the children. Oh, yeah. He stood on the scripture of 1 Timothy 2, 12, when Paul said, I suffer not a woman to teach, mm -hmm. nor the use of authority over the, over the man, but to be in silence with all subjection. No women preachers. Right. Crowd got larger. Oh, yeah. Now, women evangelists, women pastors, women assistant pastors, deaconess. That's right. He stood on the scripture that if a woman prayed or prophesied, having her head uncovered, uncovered. this on her head, and he had knowledge enough to know that was not talking about her hair. Her hair. Oh, so wait a minute, Pastor Jennings. In that same chapter, it says uh, her long hair is a covering. Let's read that. In 1 Corinthians chapter 11. In case I got any United Pentecostal folks here. That's right. And PAW folks here. That's right. Hey Amen. I want to tie you with Bible and show you what the Bible is saying. That's it. Listen. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, we'll start at verse 5. Follow me. But every woman that prayeth or prophesieth with her head uncovered. Her head uncovered. Dishonoreth her head. Now, who would be that dumb to think that Paul was talking about putting hair on? Hair on. Or having hair off? That's right. Only wig wearers do this. That's right. That's right. Huh? That's right. You know, especially many of you old folk that got them different color wigs in your cedar closets. Protected by mothballs. Amen. <laughs> mm-hmm. Hey Amen. Oh, 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 wigs with salt and pepper and the blending with the outfit and then got another wig. She's about 80 with silver eyebrows, but I got a cold black Indian wig. That's right. Mm hmm <laughs> hey Amen. Little girl, only 15 year Little old, girls. she wearing wigs now. Yeah. Hey Amen. Everything is in the wigs. Nobody don't want to be the way God made them. That's right. You just want to be fake all around. All around. Fake lips, fake hips, fake breasts, fake hair, fake everything, That's fake right. fingernails. 
fingernails so long you can't even pick up a phone good. That's true. This is what the churches have become. But every woman, every woman that prayed that or prophesied, or prophesied with, her head, with her head, her head, her, her head, head uncovered, dishonoreth her head. Dishonor her head. And remember, the head of every woman is the man. Is the man. Uh-huh. For that is even all as if she was shaved. Now, if you pray or prophesy, or, which means worship, worship, worship God with your head uncovered, God look at that through the apostle as if you shaved your head. For if the woman be not covered, if the woman be not covered, let her also be shorn. Let also be shown. But if it be a shame, if it be a shame for a woman to be shorn and shaven, if it be a shame, shame for a woman, for a woman to, to be, be shorn or shaven, shaven, let her be covered. Then let her be covered. And now at verse 10. The word covered, covered. means complete. That's right. Now look at the verse that these so-called apostolics and Pentecostals go to First to justify women in church bareheaded with nothing on their head. First, Listen at this. First I want to show you how ignorant, how they, ignorant are. they are. Uh-huh. First Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 15. What is it? But if a woman have long hair, if a woman have long hair, it is a glory to her. It's a glory to her. For her hair is given her. Her hair is given her. For a covering. Hold it. That's right. Covering and covered and uncovered, uncovered. are three different words. That's right. Uncovered, uncovered. bare. Covered, Complete. Right. Covering incomplete. That's right. What do you mean? Just say if we, when, we, when, when the Lord bless us with a building down here mm-hmm. and brothers are laying carpet, some of the folks come in, what y'all doing, Pastor Jennings? We are covering That's the right. floor. That's right. Covering, covering. the floor. Mm-hmm. No need to ask, are we finished? Because it's not complete. That's right. We are covering. That means the floor is in the process of being covered. Covered. Are you getting the old man? That's right. So as long as we lay in that carpet, we are covering. Covering. So your hair is a covering. It's a covering. But you're not complete covered. Covered. That's right. Are you getting me? That's right. It's a covering for your head. For your, that's right. But now you have to cover. Covered. And to cover, you have to cover your covering. That's right. That's right. Are you getting me? That's right. Glory to God. But every woman that prayeth or prophesies. What? With her head uncovered. With her head uncovered. That means bareheaded. You mothers, you know you got little girls. Yeah. And in the winter time come, it's snow and it's cold out there. You tell her, girl, don't you go out there bareheaded? You didn't tell her put hair on. No. She got hair. You just did her ponytails, for goodness sake. That's right. Don't you go out there with nothing on your head. It's cold. Cold. You grab your daughter and put that ski cap on them ear muscles and wrap that scarf around her mouth. Oh, you got her all covered. All covered. So there's a difference between covered and covering. And these dumb bishops. Read this scripture and say, well, you see, your hair is what cover you. Uh, you ain't got to worry about that because your hair is your covering. covering. No, covering means incomplete. That's right. And when you're incomplete, now you got to be covered. Covered. Amen. That's right. I guess I want to straighten that out as I go. That's right. So when the things that the preachers used to stood for, now when the crowd get larger, mm-hmm. they start becoming unbelievers That's right. of what they used to believe. That's right. Everything they tear down, they build up. In the book of Galatians chapter 2, and at verse 18. That's what? For if I build again. Do you hear this? Amen. If I build again the, the things, things which I destroy. I destroy. I make myself, I make myself a, a sinner. That's it. Any bishop build up any wrong. That's it. And tell the people it's all right to do it, and yet the word of God is against it. Amen. He build up that wrong that he used to be against. He's a sinner. I make myself a transgressor. You have made yourself a sinner. That's right. That's right. You're preaching good. Glory to God. <laughs> Amen. When you had a small crowd of about 25 or 30 people, yeah. you preached against remarried and divorce. Yeah. Because there wasn't enough women in the church for you to flirt with. That's right. Am I right? That's right. Then all of a sudden, more women come in and the crowd get larger. All of a sudden, he got a revelation. Oh, yeah. 
He got a revelation now. That's right. That uh, he can divorce his wife. Oh, yeah. So he can get another. Or he will have so many couples in there yeah. with second wives oh, yeah. and second husbands who are big financial contributors. Yeah. He don't want to hurt their feelings. That's right. So each one may come to Bishop. Bishop, I got my second wife, you know, and, and I know it's wrong. And Bishop, by the time he get that influx of adulterous relationships, he going to tell each one, look, it doesn't matter. That's it doesn't matter. Um, were you saved when you got the second wife? Oh, no. Oh, okay. Well, if you wasn't saved, then you done it when you was a sinner, then you all right. You all right. Adultery can be committed by a sinner or a or saint. A saint. That's right. That's right. Huh? That's right. So this is what the preachers have said in the apostolic and Pentecostal. Mm -hmm. If you got your adulterous husband or wife, or wife. before you got saved, yeah. or no, no, if you got married when you was a sinner yeah. and didn't get saved, you can divorce the sinner husband or the sinner wife. Or the sinner wife. And get you a saved husband yeah. or a saved wife. And ain't no Bible gave you that permission. No, no, now, no. And this is what the Bible says. In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 7. And we'll start at verse 7. Listen at this. For I would that all men were even as I myself. Wait a minute. Mm. Apostle Paul, the apostle of <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's right. He wasn't married. No, he wasn't. And he said, I would you was like I am. I would that all men. Were what are you saying? He, he said he wished you were single. But the difference between Paul <laughs> and single men today, Paul lived right. He li that's right. Am I right, I said? That's right. Paul ain't fornicated since God saved him. That's right. He did all his fornication before he got saved. Before he got saved. Because he told you, in time past, give me Titus chapter Titus 3 real chapter fast. Three, verse 3. And again at verse 3, I want to show you Paul's lifestyle. That's right. Before he waked up. Titus chapter 3 and verse Read 3. Read fast. For we ourselves also were sometimes Look foolish. Look at it, reflecting on his past. That's right. We ourselves were. Sometimes foolish. We were foolish. Disobedient. We were hard-headed. Deceived. Tricked. Serving diverse lusts. And serving divers, 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 all lust. kind of lust and pleasure, and he had pleasure while he was doing it, living in malice and envy, hateful, and hating one another. But then what happened after that? After that, the kindness and love of God, the our kindness, Savior. glory to God, hallelujah, and love of and God, the our love Savior. of God, our Savior, so man appeared, appeared not by works of righteousness, it didn't come because we were so good, which we have done, but what? But according to his mercy, he saved us. Wait a minute. What did he do? But according to his mercy, he saved us. How did he do that? By the washing of regeneration. When you've been washed by regeneration, you got the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ and what else? And renewing, and renewing of the Holy Ghost. You got the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. That's right. So the Apostle Paul told the church of Corinth, I would, brethren. I would that all men were that even all as I myself. all men. All men. Was even as I myself. Like myself this goes to show you you don't have to be married to be a preacher that's right but if you are married that's right you only can have one wife one wife i say if you are married yes give me first timothy first chapter timothy three verse chapter one three son verse come one. on now amen i want to show you this amen just in case many of you that may be undercover preachers here that's right preachers on the down low that's right don't want folks to know that you are some kind of preacher. Right. And you may have your second wife. In fact, you left her home because she didn't want to come because she know I preach against adultery. <laughs> Amen. But when you go home to your adulterous wife and sleep with your adulterous mm. wife and have your adulterous children and you are an adulterous bishop, you go to your adulterous church and you're going to an adulterous hell. Go ahead, man. Get me now. First Timothy chapter 3, verses 1 and 2. What is it? This, this is a true saying. Wait, 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 wait. Anything else opposite from this is a lie. This is a true saying. This is the truth here. If a man desire the office of a bishop. If a man want to be a bishop. He desireth a good work. Wait, what is his qualification if he want? A bishop then must be blameless. What else? The husband of one wife. Right then that condemn women preachers. That's right. Go on and say, how's that, Pastor Jenner? Right. It said the husband of one wife. Husband it didn't say be the wife of one husband. No. 
the husband of one wife. So woman, how are you a bishop? Amen. How are you a bishop? How are you, how are you an apostle? That's how right. are you a pastor? How are you an evangelist? How are you an elder? That's right. Don't, don't, go, don't go bring me Philip four daughters <laughs> and say they were evangelists, you old liar. No, no, no. Bible talked about how they were prophets, prophets. and prophesying is not preaching. That's right. Prophesying is the foretelling of an event that's going to come by God's permission, and that's given to a woman that's a prophetess and a man that's a prophet. That's right. That's not breaking down the scriptures, opening them up and taking them apart. No. Huh? This is a true saying. This is true here. If a man desire the office of a bishop. If a man desire the office of a bishop, he desire a good work. A bishop then must be blameless. You got to be blameless. The husband of one wife. All right, if you are a preacher, how many wives you got to have? One wife. How many? One wife. One wife. One. One. Any preacher in the building tonight or this afternoon got more than one, you's a sinner. That's a sinner. Did you hear me? That's right. I don't care if you got a cross around your neck, big as the White House. <laughs> That's right. That's a mighty big Until cross. Until they got to put you on a flatbed truck every time you wear it. That's right. If you're a preacher this afternoon and you preacher. got a second wife, you're a sinner. The husband of one wife. What? The husband of one wife. Even Jesus got one wife. One wife. I want to say, Jesus got one wife? Yes! That's right. And his wife is the church. The church. The church is the bride. That's right. And he don't have two churches, he got one. One church. Jesus said, upon this rock, I'll build my church. My church. Glory to God. Amen. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. This is a true saying. This is a true saying. If any man desire the office of a bishop. If you desire the office of a bishop. He desireth a good work. What? A bishop then must be blameless. Blameless. The husband. Of how many? Of one wife. That's all, buddy. That, that's all. That's all, buddy. That's all, buddy. Go and take God. That's right. So if there's any preachers that are watching and listening, I don't care who you are. You can cuss, get mad, jump fall out, go in a coma for a year go and come coma. back. Go in a coma. The next year, the script is still going to be here. The husband of one wife. So many of these preachers out here that's supposed to be an apostolic or Pentecostal stood on these principles. Yeah. Speaking in tongue, without it, no Holy Ghost. Without it, that's right. They told the people, you got to have it like they did on the day of Pentecost. That's right. Later on, Everything changed. That's right. You can't even recognize the churches now that you are members of. That's true. Can't recognize them. Amen. You don't know whether you're still in the club that you was at Saturday night. Amen. Because that's what your church looked like now. Yeah. I was watching the message this morning <laughs> from last night. And you know on YouTube, they're having a corner of other things. Mm -hmm. And they had something that came up. I'm like, what in the world is this? They had Kirk Franklin. Oh, my Lord. Just dancing like the world, which I expect him to do because he's a sinner. That's right. And then they had this other fellow that's supposed to be in a preacher. I cannot remember his name. He had on a blue suit with big rhinestones and wore lime green woman heels. What? Up in the pulpit, he must have had about six inch heels. My Lord. A grown man supposed to be a preacher and the crowd was right there. My Lord, my Lord. They have put no difference what? between the holy and profane. Do you hear this? In the book, in of, the Ezekiel, book of Ezekiel. Chapter 22 and verse 26. This is where the churches are now. That's right. They have put no difference. Give chapter and verse again. Ezekiel chapter 22 at verse 26. A grown 26. man, lime green hills. <laughs> Society Lord. is so spiritually doped up. That's right. Doped up doped with up. the wickedness of Satan. That's right. The attitude of the so-called church people yeah. across the board today, when it comes to sin, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. That's right. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. They look at a preacher walk around. If I, like I said last night, if I came in here with booty shorts, somebody would say, it doesn't matter. Yeah, that's right. That's true, Pastor. Amen. <laughs> that's right. They would say, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Some will still listen. Yes, Some are still dumb enough to listen to me. That's right. But them that got good sense, oh, the man lost his mind. <laughs> Let's right. get out of here. Let's run. Let's run. That song they sang, run, don't and don't look, look back. 
That's right. The devil is causing this great falling away. Falling away. Which shows us this. More will be lost. Oh, yes. Give me the Old Testament. Yes. Only a few will be saved. That's right. These, it ain't a mega church on social media that's telling the people how to live holy. Not one. That's right. Noel Jones ain't doing it. T.D. Jakes, you know he ain't doing it. Creflo Dollar, he ain't doing it. Kenneth Copeland, they're not doing it. They're not, they're doing it. not interested. Not interested. And going back with God by paying a Bible Go price. Ahead. That's right. Not interested. The only interest is give you this illusion That's it. of heaven on earth. That's it. And this earth is not heaven. No. Oh, we take God, heaven and earth is going to pass away. That's right. And the lust thereof. But he that do the will of God shall abide forever. In the book of 2nd Estrus chapter 8. Listen at this in 2nd Estrus. Chapter 8. Chapter 8. And at verse 1. Verse 1. And he answered me saying, the most high hath made this world for many. Listen at this. Amen. The most high. That's God. That's God. The most high. Hath made this world for many. He made this world. For many. For many. But the world to come for few. The world to come for, for few. few. At verse 3. Says what? There be many created. There be many that are created. But few shall be saved. Many created. Why such a few? Many created. How many things did Adam do to get put out the garden? One. How many? One. one. If you got one sin on you, you can't enter into the kingdom of God. That's right. Somebody say what? Fifth chapter of the book of Ephesians, son, real quick. That's it. All of me, stay ahead of me That's and right. get me. That's right. Hey, God, present. Unto himself. Give chapter and verse. In Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 27. This is why there's such a great falling away. If you take note, New Jerusalem, whom John saw coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Her husband. John said, the city lieth four square. Four square. The length the breadth and the height thereof are equal. equal. He said there's 12 foundations and the name of the 12 apostles was on the gates. On the gates. And he said one part of the city is uh, 12,000 furlongs and another part is 144 cubits. Four cubits. New Jerusalem have never been enlarged. That's right. Never went through renovations. Never been changed in size. That's right. It is designed to hold a number that no man can number, but in God's eyes, that number is still a few. Still a few. But because there are so many That's right. going to hell, therefore hell hath enlarged itself. God made hell bigger. That's right. Do you hear the Bible in talking? In Isaiah chapter 5 and verse 14. Isaiah 5, 14 says, Therefore hell, therefore hell, Hell hath enlarged herself, have gotten enlarged, and opened her mouth without measure. What? And opened her mouth without measure. No measure? Without measure. New Jerusalem is measured. That's right. That's right. But hell without measure. No measure. And their glory and their multitude and their pomp, and he that rejoiceth shall descend into it. It's so many. That's right. Until the number of those that are lost That's right. exceed those that will be saved. Those that will be saved. In the because book? there will be sinners who will never come to God. I don't care what you tell them. That's true. You got that. That's right. John said, he that is holy, let him be holy still. Let him be holy still. He that is righteous, 
Don't reject God, let him be righteous still. That's right. He that is foolish. Let him be foolish. Let him be foolish still. He that is unjust. Do you hear this? In the book of Revelation, chapter 22 and verse 11. He that is unjust. Let him be unjust still. Let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy. He that is filthy. Let him be filthy still. Let him still. be filthy still. And he that is righteous. He that is righteous. Let him be righteous let still. Let him be righteous still. And he that is holy. He that is holy. Let him be holy let still. Let him be holy still. And behold, I come quickly. What? And behold, I come quickly. Here he comes. And my reward is with me. Hallelujah. Now, it is that last statement right. that people forgot. Forgot. He said, Behold, Behold I come quickly. I'm coming quick. Quickly. But and my reward, my is, with reward is with me. Hold it right there. Because there's two rewards. That's right. There's a reward for the holy. And there's a reward for the wicked. For the wicked. The reward for the holy. Blessed is he that have part in the first resurrection. On such the second death have no power. No power. The reward for the wicked is hell. Hell. That's right. That's right. Hell was enlarged. Enlarged. Without measure. Hell has enlarged herself. Because there will be more loss. Oh, yes. Then saved. That's right. Sinners who never will come to God. Right. Even after they hear the word of God, they won't come. Some of them. Some of them. And then you have those that came. That's right. That will commit treason yeah. and turn their back on the most high. That's right. That will blend in and enlarge hell. those that's going to hell. Therefore, hell has enlarged herself. I'm determined not to be included there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Living holy may be hard yeah. because you got to give up a lot. That's right. Everything you love that's against God, you got to give it up. Oh, yes. You don't feel like doing it. Go and take God. Oh, no. You don't want to do I it. I want to do it. Yeah, but my fear for hell. That's it. Calls me to plead with God to help me do it. That's it. Hallelujah. That's it. Yeah. That's right. My fear. That's right. Oh, it's to God for hell. That's it. Calls me to pull on heaven. That's right. And ask God to help me to overcome. Hallelujah. That's, right. yeah. That's it. Build me up where I'm torn down. That's right. Do you understand? That's right. Oh, it be to God. That's right. For if I build again, if I build again the, the things, things which I destroy, that I destroy, I make myself a transgressor. Hallelujah. Many of you watching now, you once was baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and had the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. That's right. Striving to live a holy, sanctified life, sister. You was doing fine until you met that fella. That's right. That fella pulled you right out the church. That's right. He hypocrited and came to church by your invitation. Yeah. Clapping and standing up. Bobbing his head to a false prophet you invite him to hear. That's right. He even went as far as getting baptized. He got on his knees and spit all over the chair. My Lord, Pretend my Lord. Pretend like he was speaking in some tongue. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. You thought that was God's gift for heaven. Oh, yes. You married him. Married him. He came to church for a few months. Oh, Slowly yeah. but surely, he started staying home more. More. That's right. More. You came home and found cigarette buds in your house. Yeah. Now cans of beer in your house. Everything he tore down, slowly but surely, he built it up. If I build again the things which I destroy. How do you expect to come out of anything yeah. when you're hanging around a crowd that's doing what you're trying to stop doing? That's right. The Lord says, come out, come out from, from among, among them and be ye separate. And say, be separate. Saith the Lord. Are you listening? That's right. So slowly but surely, he start to coerce her. Yeah. Because he missed the life they used to have, clubbing. That's right. Or she missed 
the life she used to have, partying. That's right. So she dig her friends back up on social media. Mm -hmm. Social media is good and bad. And bad. Social media, man, I'll send you to hell quick. Oh, yes. Make you hunt down them old girlfriends and them old trifling boyfriends. That's right. Make you look up strangers. That's right. You don't even know his name or her name. Amen. Then you go meet them. Amen. And then nobody can find you. That's right. Be not deceived. Do you hear it? 1 Corinthians 14 and verse 33. Don't be tricked. 1 Corinthians 15 and verse 33. Chapter and verse again, Will. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 33. Yes. Be not deceived. Don't you be tricked. Evil communication. Evil communication, what does it do? Corrupt good manners. Hold it. Evil communication corrupt good manners. Good Let me manners. miss this example. If you come from a good structure family, mother and father was there, they laid good groundwork. That's right. Raised the children right, God fearing, told them no sex before marriage, none of that. That's right. Laid down a clean law. Don't you come in this house no one and two and three in the morning? Amen. Amen. Good structure. Then they start hanging around the wrong crowd. The crowd is only successful in manipulating you, man or woman. And that's determined on how weak you are. That's right. If you're weak, you can be easily manipulated. Oh, yeah. If you're not weak, the devil can come out of hell and you're going to remain firm and solid. That's right. That's but so many of our young people yeah. are being lured back. Oh, yes. They didn't wait to get steadfast. No. Some run and get married because they don't want to fornicate. That is not a reason to marry. No. You're married because you love that man or love that woman. That's right. You see, when you're single, you have to strive for mastery, so you got to be disciplined. Discipline. You got to strive for God to discipline mind, soul, body, and spirit. That's right. That's why the Bible says you're killed all the day long. Yeah. I ain't never seen a dead person get up and kiss nobody. <laughs> no. Now here's God tell us, he said, you're dead. You're dead. And your life is hid with Christ, Christ in God. That's right. And this is why holiness is so firm. It come to kill the living. What you mean? Living in sin so I can be dead in Christ. That's right. Glory be to God. Be not deceived. Man. That's right. Don't be tricked. Evil communication. Evil. Evil communication. Thanks be unto God communication. Corrupt good manners. What is it like a bunch of... Young people spending the night over a single sister house, brothers and sisters. What's brothers, the matter with you? And a bunch of young people, a right. bunch of sisters spending the night over a single brother house, mm -hmm. brothers spending the night over a single sister house. No. Come on, well, we all holy together. You're a bunch of hypocrites and heathens. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Eh? That's right. I don't care who you are. Amen. There ain't no single sister should be spending the night over some single brother house or some brother spend the night over a single sister house. I don't care if it's 500 of you. That's you want right. to spend the night, go home. That's right. Amen. Amen. Are you listening? Be not deceived. I know well a bunch of single sisters going to be in a single brother house. And I said, well, we all, we all in prayer. How? In nightgowns and slippers, <laughs> my Lord, in drawers, my oh, my in pajamas. God. That won't be lasting too long, Pastor. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's the devil out of hell. Amen. Amen. There ain't no single sister should be getting her suitcase packed to go spend the night over some brother's house. No way. And, and that ain't your husband? No. Because other sisters going to be there? It ain't no sister supposed to be there. That's right. That's right. Speaking in tongue, Jezebel. Mm. Are you listening to the old troublemaker? Go ahead. Go ahead, man. Are you getting me? What did the Holy Book say? Now in 1 Corinthians chapter 7 and verse 1. Amen. There was one amen came out. Sounded like somebody was 
like somebody was whining. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. That's right. Thank God that thing sound painful, <laughs> didn't it? <laughs> Glory to God. All right, come on, son. First Corinthians chapter 7, and we're at verse 1. <laughs> yeah. Now concerning <laughs> the things whereof you wrote unto me. What is it? It is good for a man not to touch a woman. Only the Lord said that, not Paul. No, Paul. Oh, I told you the way he used to be. That's he right. served divers' lusts. And pleasures. And pleasures. I mean, he had fun. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Divers mean all kind. That's it. And here come God changed that man. Now concerning and the things. And now made him say something he would never say. That's right. Concerning the things Where that have you wrote, you unto, wrote me? unto me. It is good for a man not to touch a woman. It ain't no man going to say that unless God get a hold of him. <laughs> That's right. It's the only way. Am I right, man? Yeah. Talk back to me. Yeah. That's the only way. There ain't no real man going to say that no man. unless God get a hold to him. That's right. And even when God got a hold to him, he may tr got trouble saying that. Oh, yeah. But he got to tell the truth of it. Amen. Glory Amen. be to God. Amen. What did he say? Now concerning the things whereof you wrote unto me, uh -huh. it is good for a man not to touch a woman. Yeah, that's what the Bible says. That's what the scripture says. The scripture. We wouldn't say it. No. No way. We wouldn't say that. Uh -uh. Unless the Holy Ghost get a hold of you, then you have to say amen. That's right. But what did he say? Nevertheless, to avoid fornication. To avoid fornication. Sinning. Let to every... avoid mm -hmm. unlawful sex. That's right. What did he say? Let every man have his own wife. Get your own. And let every woman have her own husband. Her own. And some of you got married. And they say, well, we didn't have no sex. You know, a lot of churches teach if you get married but didn't have no sex yet, uh, you didn't consummate the marriage. You're not really bound. You bound the moment you got that license. That's it. Hey, Amen. I don't care if he can't move and she can't move. <laughs> when you got that license, that's your contract. That's your contract. You bound. Bound. I hey, mean, if you married him and he in the freezer, you bound to that popsicle. <laughs> 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 Yeah. That's right. You bound, buddy. That's it. That's Amen. Right. That's right. Glory be to God. Amen. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? Amen. You're bound, I said. Nevertheless, to avoid fornication. To avoid it. Let every man have his own wife. And let every woman have her own there ain't no church sleepover. Amen. No, it's not. Amen. Not Amen. here. No, I no. better find out you're having one. I come in there like Jesus and turn your tables over. Yes, I will. That's right. Bunch of young single people talking about sleeping over. Sleeping mm. over what? My Lord. All these brothers there and sisters there. Mm. Somebody gonna wake up two o'clock in the morning. Yes, they will. They, they, they got they coat they got a cold knock. That's it. And she knows it's him. She, that's it. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up. Not, not so loud. M Mother Gresto is Mother next Gr door. That's right. <laughs> not here. No. Dang fellowship, that's folly. Folly. The Holy putteth no trust in his saints. And I don't either. That's right. Give chapter and verse. Job chapter 15 and verse 15. There ain't no single people got no business crammed in one house spending the night, brothers and sisters. If you all brothers, fine. Fine. All sisters, fine. Right. Together spend the night. No. No, no. You don't need no revelation. You ain't stupid. <laughs> That's right. I know, well, you sitting around all comfortable in nightgowns and panties and bloomers and brawls and no girdles. And he's sitting around in drawers sitting and around. jockey straps. Go ahead. Talking about we having prayer meeting. <laughs> he all jumping around in jockey. <laughs> Yeah. He all in some spirit. In some spirit with jockey straps. <laughs> My Lord. 
Am I right? Yes, that's right. You know I'm telling the truth. That's right. Glory be to God. That's the devil out of hell. Right. God knows it is. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You see, I got thousands of young people. I got to pound got this. To pa that's right. Okay. That's right. You want to come together, have a cookout? Fine. That's fine. But you that have these cookouts, don't you have these sisters leaving your home? I don't care if it's brothers and sisters. If it's a hundred of you, no sisters should be leaving out of your house from a cookout the next morning. No way. Shut that stuff down and tell them, all right, it's almost 12 midnight, time to go. Time to go. You got to go. That's right. Bible said it all things you've done how? Decently and in order. All things. Not leaving your house the next day. Next day. <laughs> That's right. Amen. Are you listening? Go ahead. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Glory be to God. Amen. This is old-fashioned holiness. Oh, yes. And this is what the people have fell away from. Fell away from. The great falling away is they fell away from holy, sanctified teaching. And That's now it. the world have lived to their own understanding. That's it. What That's did he it. say? Behold, he putteth no trust. Yeah, chapter and verse. This is Job 15, 15. Job chapter 15 and verse 15. The Lord talking. Behold, he putteth no trust. He said he don't put no trust in his saints. In his saints. That means his God don't trust his people. His people. What do you mean? He don't trust their flesh. No. He don't, he don't matter how much Holy Ghost they got. They, he know they still flesh. That's right. And they, that flesh act up sometimes. <laughs> that's right. And that's yeah. why you got to have a preacher to pound on that old wild stuff. Wow. You're a wild thing. <laughs> that's right. Eh? That's right. Amen. Yeah, some folks, they feel like they're caged in. My God, man, they're about to explode. They are wild things. Wild things. Amen. Come on, son. They only put us no trust in his saints. Come on, say, well, if, they that, if they're that wild, why don't, why don't they get married? <laughs> Listen, you got the most naive concept to think marriage tames everybody. Right. Marriage do not tame everybody. No. For some people, marriage made them worse. That's right. Because they're not getting what they want at home. That's right. Well, that's another subject for another day. <laughs> All right, come on, Williams. The only put is no trust in his saints. <laughs> he put no trust, no. I said. In his saints. Glory be to God. Yea, the heavens, the heavens are not clean in his sight. If the heavens are not clean in his sight, that means heaven is dirty in his eyes. How much more abominable is what? And filthy is man. How, look how God look at man. How much more abominable and filthy is man. That's why you need to be born again. Your nature is dirty. Dirty. Your nature is dirty. That's right. You need to be born again. <laughs> you got a dirty nature. You're liable to go back That's to right. where God brought you from. Oh, yeah. You're liable to go right back to it. Right Don't back. you feel your flesh being pulled sometimes? Oh, yeah. Am I right, I said? That's right. That's right. That's why I shock a lot of people how so many men Come in this. These men know this old sugar mess won't help them in the church they're in. No way. You got some old sugar watered down fairy for a bishop who don't bother your sins. That's right. You see, when I came from the hood, I often meet this example. From the hood, we, there was two ways of boxing. Slap. Body. You like to go to church and where your preacher deal with sin like this. That's right. We come along. <laughs> Mighty close, <laughs> eh? That's what we come along. That's right. Old Testament and New Testament. That's right. <laughs> I haven't hit you yet in all Not these yet. years. No, no, you haven't. Not yet. Glory to God. So. When the will of the flesh yeah. start to activate again, oh yes, you need to be around preaching That's right. that deals with that troubled body. That's right. And that troubled mind. That's right. Because it's a form 
of bringing the mind and body back on track. Back on track. It's the same thing when you got a car. Yeah. You hit too many potholes, too many bumps. Oh, yeah. You need an alignment. Am I right? That's right. And you can tell that you need an alignment by the way your car drives. Yeah. You can tell when your body, your life, your temple is out of line, out of line. with God's word. That's right. So you need a spiritual alignment so you can walk right walk again, right. think right again, That's right. talk right again, That's it. and be like God wants you to be. That's right. Got to have an alignment. alignment. And this old religious trash, it don't align your wheels. No. In fact, it mess up your, your hinges and everything else. That's right. It give you a whole flat tire. Amen. Come on, son. Let's go back to Thessalonians back to real Second quick. Thessalonians, Second Thessalonians, chapter 2 and verse 3. Yes. Let no man deceive you by any means. Don't let nobody trick you in any means. For that day shall not come. That what? Except there come a falling away first. Uh -huh. And that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. Now. To fall away from God, you can't fall away from what you've never been a part of. That's right. Many of you that are watching around the world, throughout America and Canada and Africa and Europe, certainly have abandoned God. Many, not all. Some is hanging on by the skin of their teeth. That's true. Some of the church organizations that had a little decency. Yeah. They done took that and threw it out the window and exchanged it for prosperity preaching. That's right. There are preachers, like many apostolic organizations, by the way, worldwide, who headquarters are here in D.C., former bishop, Bishop Smallwood Williams, who passed away. He was starched against divorce and remarriage, starched against it. And he was against women preachers. Amen. He used to be the general secretary for under Bishop R.C. Lawson. Before he died, the women preachers was coming in the different Bible way temples and the remarriage and divorce. After he died, it exploded. Mm. The false prophet bishop and the would-be apostle in New York, Bishop Huey Dewey Rogers, <laughs> who's nothing but a sinner. Amen ordained countless of women to be preachers. And even he, I remember when I was younger, stood firm against women preachers. My Lord. This is how the great falling away, great falling away. will happen. That's right. The contributing factor to it happening is preachers convincing people that sin is right. That's right. Sin is right. And holiness is wrong. Woe unto them that call evil good. You see how the Bible talks? In Isaiah chapter 5 and at verse 20. The preacher said, it's all right to remarry and divorce. It's all right to live together not married. It's all right to get drunk once in a while as long as you don't overindulge. It's all right to party. That's why you find the so-called right. Christian music can be played on both platforms. That's right. You don't know whether to shout to it or dance to it. Or dance. Why you think Kirk Franklin and these other hypocrites yeah. play music so it can be played in the club and the church? That's right. That way they can make money from both worlds. That's right. You go on social media, you see T.D. Jakes hanging out at Puff Daddy's party. Big as he is with short songs. What a fool. My Lord. And they playing music and, and T.D. Jakes is there. The preachers are scared oh, yes. to be looked different by the celebrity world. That's right. Because they themselves want to be a celebrity. Right. They don't want to be saved. No. They want to be seen. That's right. Being a celebrity is more important to them than telling you what's right. Amen. Because if you're a preacher and represent God, you will be around sinners for one reason, to preach to them. That's the word. That's right. Not party with them. No. You a preacher, why are you at a party where women twerking? Mm. You a preacher, a preacher, why are you sitting there with champagne glass? 
That's right. That's right. You a preacher? Why are you there at the bar drinking Budweiser? Amen. Where's your difference at? Where's your difference? Give me Leviticus 10.10. 10. Leviticus chapter 10. And you wonder why the sinners don't respect you fake churches? That's you right. don't deserve respect from a sinner. Amen. Notice Leviticus 10.10. 10. And that ye may put different. God talking. And that ye may put different. That what? That ye may put that different. That ye, you. You may put difference between holy, between holy and unholy and unholy and between unclean, between unclean and clean. Put Even difference. down to our weddings. We don't have weddings like the sinners. No. The Bible speaks against the wearing of gold and pearls and jewelry. Right. So we ain't wearing no rings because right. the Bible speaks against the rings. Against the rings. Someone said, well, how do you know you married? Act like it. <laughs> That's right. When a ring made you act like you married. Amen. A ring ain't never committed no man to no woman or no woman to no man. No. You ought to be a hoe with that ring on. He'll be a pimp with his ring on. That's right. All right, listen to the old man. And that ye may put difference. Put difference. Between holy and unholy. So we have a wedding, a holy sanctified wedding. She may have a wedding gown, but none of her meat is showing. That's right. Back out. Nope. No, 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 no lace all clear yes. where you can see her cleavage. You don't come to church like that. That's right. If you want your husband to see your cleavage, wait till you get home. That's right. Then he can cut the dress off of you. <laughs> Not in God's house. Not in God's house. You don't even kiss the same way in God. You don't kiss your wife the same way in God's house like you do at home. No. That's why we're not performing wedding. We don't say kiss the bride. No. Well, say what? Your tongue ain't got no business in your wife's mouth in here. That's right. Salute one another with an holy kiss. What kind of kiss in God's house? And holy kiss. What kind? And holy kiss. What kind? And holy kiss. In you Romans. better give chapter and verse so they can write that down. Romans chapter 16 and verse 16. Salute one another with an holy kiss. I don't say let's kiss the bride as I pronounce you, husband and wife. No. I say let us all stand and pray. <laughs> That's right. You know why? You got yourself into something you ain't never been in. That's right. You got a lifetime for kissing. You need prayer now. Lord Jesus, look down upon these folks. Amen. The Bible said it all things. And a lot of folks say that's taking it to the extreme. The Bible says, God says, my house that's right. shall be called house of a house of prayer for all people. For all people. For all people. You don't kiss in God's house like you do at home. No way. That's right. It is all right. Amen. So I don't say to kiss the bride. I tell them, you, go, you go home and do that. I remember I married one couple. They forgot. They were so happy they was married. He was moving towards the No, 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 not now. <laughs> he said, oh, man, Pastor Dennis, I forgot. <laughs> I said, look, let me hurry up and pray so you can get out of here quick. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was real funny, because while I was praying, I had, he didn't notice. I had my eye open. He was like, <laughs> he was grabbing her hand all type of ways, grabbing it. <laughs> I was praying, Lord, bless these two. Bless their marriage. Let your spirit be upon them. Guide them. Watch over them. <laughs> Man, he wasn't paying me no mind. He was bobbing her hand and going all that. I guess saying, in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> amen. That's right. You have to keep God's house clean. Clean. Amen. Wonderful. In other words, everything that go on in God's house must have God's approval. That's right. And ain't no one should be smooching in the house of worship where you worship in God. No. Wonderful. It is wonderful. Amen. So when you're a holy sanctified wedding, your, your dress cover your body. People yeah. ask me, what did you wear when you got married? The same kind of suit I preached in. 
If my suit was good enough to preach in, my suit was good enough to get married in. That's, right. That's exactly what I did. That's what you did. Got married in my double-breasted black suit, got my white shirt. A few days earlier, I got some white material, made me a white-on-white -white silk bow tie, put my clip in the back, <laughs> wore it, and preached the same day. Yes, you did. Someone said, what? I couldn't help it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the church was packed. Huh? It was packed. And I was like, Dottie, is devils everywhere. <laughs> I told my wife, I said, Dottie, I got to preach. She said, Gino, I said, I can't help it. Look, do you, do you, do you see these people? There are devils in here. <laughs> my Lord, my Lord. God, and we, and we preach at had church yes, you, that right. evening. That evening. Didn't we, Will? Yes, we did. And, and I read for you, Pastor. Yes, you did. <laughs> And my new wife was sitting there with her gown on. Right. Amen. Yes. That's right. So, yes, we had church the same night. I just couldn't help it. Couldn't help Looking it. at all the false, the false prophets was there <laughs> by the number. I was like, my God, all these folk I got, I can't leave without killing somebody. <laughs> Amen. I couldn't. It, 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 the thing was just all them. It was, I just couldn't help it. Rather, we unleashed Bible on them. That's right. And then went off to the sunset. <laughs> That's right. So you got to keep God's house clean. 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 Oh, yes. Amen. Keep oh, your yes. weddings holy. Holy. Don't add nothing. You ain't marching down on no worldly music. That's right. No Teddy Pendergrass, no Kurt Franklin, no love songs. That's this right. is God's house. God's house. You have a reception, she ain't got her gown pulled up and some she's throwing a garter. Yeah. Not in God's house. No, no. And then some other man putting a garter up her leg. She got a dress all up and the photographer is all up there. That's right. In God's house. God's house. These churches are nothing but whole houses. Oh yeah. That's what they are. That's what they are. They're nothing but whole houses. That's right. Someone said the proper thing is whore. All right, ho, whore houses. <laughs> there ain't no discipline, no order, no nothing. No nothing. Even the bishop, right away after he married, he say, I get the first kiss. Yes, he do. Old sloppy mouth bishop got his chicken greasy lips all up. <laughs> Coming at you like Jaws. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Not here. Not here. Yes. Not here. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Go ahead. You know, I love this holy way. Oh, yes. Thank God that puts everything in order. Hallelujah. Put everything in order. Hallelujah. Amen. We're not out here like the world. If the Bible says put a difference between holy and mm -hmm. unholy, clean and unclean, that don't exempt nothing. That's right. That don't exempt nothing. This book ain't gonna change to accommodate us. No. We got to change to accommodate the book. That's right. That's right. The Bible said, let it not be no outward adorning of plaiting of the hair, the wearing of gold, the putting on the apparel. Then our women ain't walking down the wedding with flowers decorating their hair. No. You don't come to wish up with flowers decorating your hair. That's right. That's outward adorning. They didn't stop to be outward adorning all of a sudden you got it in your hair to get married. No. Not here. Let it not be that outward adorning. And there's no exception. No exception. Amen. Oh, yes. We kept it holy. Oh, yes. Hey, Amen. You get in the ring and it'll take you a lifetime to pay off something the size of a lifesaver. <laughs> Taking half of your mortgage and all of that stuff. See, a lot of you folk don't know this is in the Bible. You better read quick the third chapter of the book of, of Isaiah. Isaiah, and you better give me 1 Peter chapter 3 and verses 3 and 4. Isaiah Real chapter quickly 3. now, and then give me 1 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 9. Isaiah chapter 3 and we're at verse 18. And then you better give me Jeremiah chapter 4 and verse 30. Amen. Right, first, 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 before Isaiah. you get Isaiah, no, give me Jeremiah. Jeremiah. No, give me four. Isaiah, then we'll go to Jeremiah, <laughs> then, we'll get, then we'll keep traveling. <laughs> Isaiah chapter 3. I want to teach you while I got you here, because a lot of churches knew this, and a lot of churches fell away from this. That's there were right. churches that spoke the same thing and preached the same thing I'm about to read. Yeah. But when that crowd got bigger, and then his wife started whining, yeah. he gave leverage to his wife and then leverage to his children. That's right. 
And her wife got on Lee's stick on nail she brought from CVS. That's right. Children got on CVS hair. Yeah. Grandma got hair from Walgreens. That's right. They used to dip some of these old mothers used to get on the young sisters, and now the same thing the old mothers used to get on the old sisters about, they're doing now. Yeah. yeah you grandma, why you got a mini skirt on? Grandma. Chain around your ankle. Yeah. Cutting that blood circulation off from that one big vein. What's the matter with you? What's the matter? You wait till you get in your 70s to be like this, and yet you wasn't like this in your 40s. That's true. In your 40s, you didn't wear lipstick and earrings and jewelry and makeup and mini skirts because you believed God and you were serving God. You wait till you got old. That's right. And start to backslide, backslide. when you get old. That's right. Because the church that you in Go made ahead, you man. comfortable and now may sin fair seeming. Yeah. Are you listening? Isaiah chapter 3, we'll start at verse 18. A woman 55 and 60 and 70, 80 years old talking about, I ain't wearing no long dress like an old woman like old and you got a senior citizen's card? <laughs> <laughs> you got a senior citizen's card. Amen. You drive public transportation for free. What you mean you ain't wearing a dress like an old woman? You ain't got to be old but let a celebrity come. Walk down the aisle, put out a new dress. That's maxi, right. remember in the 1970s, the maxi dress and the maxi skirt? Man, when that maxi dress and maxi skirt came out, practically every woman in the world, Amen. body was covered. Yeah. Because when a sinner say do it, they respect the sinner. Respect it. When God say do it, they got a problem with it. That's right. Hear me good. Isaiah chapter 3 and at verse 18. Read fast, Williams. In that day, the Lord will take away the bravery of the tinkling ornaments about their feet. Yes. And their calls and their round tires like the moon. Yes. The chains. Yeah. Amen. Chains. Chains. You that got a cross around your neck. Who's that fella on it? You better not tell Miss Jesus. He been off the cross. Been off. Been off the cross, died, and rose the third day and ascended above all heavens. That's right. Uh -huh. And the bracelets. Bra what? And the bracelets. And he said, in that day, he going to do what? In that day, the Lord will take away. He going to take away that stuff. And the bracelets. Hey, your arm making all that noise. Yeah. <laughs> jangling, jangling, jangling. <laughs> making all that noise. Grown men, bracelets everywhere. Grown men. Bracelets. Bracelets. You can see them. They, they, when they start jingling so much, they start holding their hand different. That's right. <laughs> That's true. Huh? You know, like your Fred Sanford. <laughs> you started getting feminine with it. Feminine, yeah. When I came up, a guy put an earring in his ear was a small one. You know he was from the hood or from a gang. Yeah. Now they got earrings hanging, grown men. Like you some decorated Christmas tree. That's right. Have you noticed the fashion that's coming out now is attacking the masculinity of us men? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Making you more and more look like a sissy. Yes, Amen. You look like a sissy. Yes, That's right. Here, you want to wear your hair long like a woman. Talking about you're going back to nature. You're going back to hell. <laughs> That's right. What's the matter with you? What's the matter with you? They had LeBron James on the news. Mm. And a hot pink skirt. And hot pink shoes. Wow. Mm. And being that young boys look up to him, you're gonna see them coming out with dresses. You see, money, these fellas make so much money, it changed everything in them. That's, That's why I tell men look up to God. That's right. Idolize God. Be like him. That's right. I came, I'm from the hood, man. We ain't had our pants hanging down, showing our drawers. We wore our pants up, we wore our khakis, and we rolled our pants leg up on our khakis a little bit with our hot top Stacy Adam comforts. Today, Not today, 
pants hanging down, showing your drawers like you a hood hooker. That's right. You grown men with a man bun. Man. A man bun. Man. Wearing your mama, your sister, your girlfriend, or your wife bobby pin. That's right. A man bun. A man bun. A man and the woman is in the window, in the mirror. And he asked her, is it straight? <laughs> That's right. Have you noticed all the so-called gospel artists, they all like this? That's right. And nobody's nothing wrong with it. The attitude of the hypocrite and fake Christian, it doesn't matter. Amen. God is looking at the, how, at the heart. He's not looking at the hour. You believe that lie. Believe that God lie. said in that Bible in the 11th chapter of 1 Corinthians, it's a shame for a man that to have long hair. hair. And they ain't talking about your heart. Your heart don't grow hair. No. I was talking about outward. Outward. That's right. Imagine me and Williams come in, our hair down past our shoulders. <laughs> That's right. Like we two of the Beatles. <laughs> That's right. Oh, yeah. It's a disgrace. Oh, yeah. Read quick, Williams. In that day, the Lord will take away the bravery of their tinkling ornaments about their feet and, and their calls and their round tires like the moon. What else? The chains and the bracelets, bracelets. and the mufflers. mufflers. The bonnets. Bonnets. And the ornaments Bonnet. of the legs. Bonnets, what you mean? Bonnets was a certain fashion style that they had back in those days. That's right. That they wore for pride, for to decorate and to impress the king and those that was in authority. That's it. All right. And the ornaments of the legs. What? And the ornaments of the legs. Your ankle chain. Why you men let your wives come out with ankle chains? What's the matter with you? What's the matter with you? And you mothers, why is it that your daughter, five years old, ten years old, got an ankle chain on like you? Why? <laughs> Amen. Why you let your little daughter, ten years old, lipstick on, yes. earrings on? Shoes that tie and the straps tie all up her little calves. That's right. And some old sloppy mouth old man looking at her like a buzzard looking at a carcass. That's right. Ready to snatch her Ready. virginity from her. That's true. That's true. You the one got your daughters out here like this. Yeah. You the one buy your daughters these old fake ponytails. Oh, yeah. Making her hate herself. That's right. If our hair was good enough for God to make, it's good enough for her to have. Amen. Love the way God made you. Amen. Are you listening to the old troublemaker? And the ornaments of the legs. What else? And the headband. What else? And the tablets. What else? And the earrings. Wait a minute, the Bible says what? And the earrings. But they're real diamonds. Earrings. They're real gold. And the earrings. My wife gave them to me. <laughs> and the earrings. My husband gave them to me for a wedding anniversary. And the earrings. That's plain. Shake your head now. <laughs> That's right. You didn't know this was in the Bible. No. I don't blame you. I blame the dumb preacher you had. Some of you men in here That's got true. earrings on you. What are you, a man or a woman? That's right. What are you? What are you? What are you? Oh, I'm a man, Pastor Jennings, to get the earring out of your ear. Who are you trying to attract? You got an earring in your ear and you wear your pants down <laughs> like a regular neighborhood whore. A DC hoe. <laughs> my Lord, my Lord. Look out of here. Look how you let society made you. You got an earring in your ear and your pants hanging down. That's something. You're like a regular hooker. That's right. You're advertising your butt for. What's the matter with you? What's the matter with you? Uh, Jenny, you don't understand, man. You see, the earring let you know that I'm... Let you know what? That you're a man? My Lord. Go ahead, man. God made man in his image. That's right. And when we reflect God, brother, that's the best thing we can ever do. Oh, yes. Real quick. And the earring. What else? The ring. What else? And the nose jewel. All right. Let's and get... The, let, 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 my time is gone. Give me Jeremiah. Jeremiah. A lot of you got your nose pierced. Your nose is still dirty and snotty. Oh, that's now, right. If you believe that your nose pairs make your, eating your nose look any better, it don't. It don't. Just get a tissue and get them old trolls out of there. <laughs> Come on, son. Jeremiah chapter 4 and oh, I'm going to make 30. it so plain. You got to get what I'm telling you. Amen. Jeremiah chapter 4 and the 30th verse. And when thou art spoiled. That's the problem. You're spoiled. What You've been spoiled by your husband, by your mother, by your father, and by your church. That's right. No, when you are allowed to do what you want to do, 
you become spoiled. Spoiled. And then when I come along with the hardness of the Bible, people are like, oh, God, I don't, I don't mind visiting him, but I could never be a part of nothing like that. You ain't being a part of me. This is Bible. It's Bible. And it's all in your Bible. That's right. Mr. and Mrs. Christian. Amen. You claim you're a Christian. You claim you love Jesus. Love What's the matter with this? That's right. Why don't you love this? That's right. Hear me good. Jeremiah chapter 4 and verse 30. And when thou art spoiled, well, spoiled what, what wilt thou do? do? Though thou closest thyself with crimson. Even the nation of Islam, when uh, Elijah Muhammad was living in the 50s and 60s and stuff, them women wasn't allowed to wear makeup. No. No! Them women was not allowed to wear makeup. Farrakhan become the head of the nation. Look at them. Look at they faces painted just like harlots. Yeah. Just like Jezebel. Yeah. Lips red, powder all over the face, big diamonds hanging from the ears. That's right. All it takes is someone coming to Paul Pitt with the ideology and the philosophy that's not of God. That's right. Then the people start looking to him more than they look to God. I don't care what religion it happens in. Yeah. The same result is the same. Oh, yeah. And it has happened to the churches more than any place. That's right. You can do whatever you want, how you want, how in you the want. name of Jesus. Yeah. Come on, Will. Though thou closest thyself with crimson, what else? though thou deckest thee with ornaments of gold, what else? though thou riddest thy face with painting, yeah. and back, hey, back then makeup was called paint. Painting. That's all you got on, paint. That's right. That's all you got on, paint. M-A-B lover, paint. <laughs> That's right. Amen. Go to Sherman Williams, Sherman. paint. <laughs> <laughs> you old folk used to get on young people. Take yeah. that lipstick off. And, he, and that, 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 if that child was stubborn, you got a rag and smeared her lips so hard. Take that stuff off. That's you right. old folk used to tell young women when I was coming up, tell young men, you, you get away from that Jezebel. That's right. Get away from that Jezebel. Yeah. Now you're not saying it because you look like Jezebel. Yeah. What happened to you? What happened? What happened to you? You got involved in some religion that made you soft towards sin. That's right. Listen good. Though thou riddest thy face with painting, yes. in vain shalt thou make thyself fair. In vain. In vain. It's not beautiful. No, vain. It's vain. Vain. Your lovers. In vain shalt thou make Your thyself lovers shall fair. despise thee. Thy lovers will despise and thee. And what? They will seek New Testament, life. quickly. Now in the book of 1 Timothy chapter 2, and at verse 9. All right, there's another part of jewelry uh, that the Bible going to call out. In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Modest. Modest. You modest. No splits in your clothes, no mini skirts, and all of that stuff. That's right. Your clothes shouldn't be so tight. You walk in a way you, you don't normally walk. Amen. Amen. Here you're not pigeon toed, but your dress or your skirt is so tight, it got you pigeon toed. That's right. You can't even walk up the step. When your dress is right, you walk up the step like a lady. Now you got to. You can't even walk up right. That's right. Go ahead, man. Dress and skirt ain't got no business being so tight where a man can notice the color of your own underwear, where they start and where they stop. Go ahead, brother. What a difference! What a difference between holy and unholy. What in the world's wrong with you? That's something. Hear me good now. In like manner also. Well, my husband like for me to wear it. Then tell him to wear it at home. Wear it at home. Wear it at home if he like it that much, cook in it. Be at the stove. And let him just stand behind you. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he make that face of appreciation. <laughs> <laughs> he like it that much. That's right. There's just certain things ought not to be in church. That's right. Ought not to just be. ought not to be. Go Are you ahead. listening? Go ahead. Come on. In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. What else? With shamefacedness. Shamefacedness. That means you're not forward. Right. Not always forward in some brother's face, looking at a brother up and down. That's right. 
That's right. His eyes ain't below his belt. Just like her, just like her eyes is not on her chest. Go ahead. Shame faceness. <laughs> Amen's are scattered, Pastor. Yeah, amen's are very scattered. <laughs> scattered. That's to let you know the hammer is hitting. <laughs> That's right. Come on. In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. What? With shame facing. Modest. No fox, no minx, and all that stuff. We don't, we don't wear that foolishness. No. Fox and <laughs> minx and all that. No. Brothers with red shoes like you ain't got good sense. <laughs> Who you think you the Pope? <laughs> That's right. Pink socks brothers, red socks brothers. Yeah. Socks Amen. got more colors than every flag in the country combined. That's right. That's right. If your necktie got multicolored, that's one thing, but you, you ain't got to get all outrageous with it. You're not a woman. That's right. That's right. Stop getting sissified it. That's right. I think you made up a word, Pastor. I made up a word. Sissified. Sissified. <laughs> Remember that, sissy fight. Sissy fight. <laughs> Amen. Amen. There's certain things ought not to be. Oh, no. I don't care nothing about the fashions out here. That's right. God said. In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. What? With shame facing. Shame facing. And sobriety. Sobriety. Not with broided hair. No broided hair. No hair decoration. Or gold. Or gold. Or pearls. What? Or pearls. That got your necklace, that got your ring and your earrings. That's right. The Bible speak against, this is Bible here. Bible. Pastor Jennings, you ain't bothered my pearls. Pastor Jennings, you ain't bothered my pearls. I'm not. Give chapter and verse. First Timothy who, chapter. Wait, wait, who? who? First Timothy. <laughs> my name is not Timothy. That's right. My name is Jennings. Jennings. Do you hear the Bible talking? First Timothy chapter 2 and verse 9. The Bible says. In like manner also. Don't tell me how much your pearls cost. No. Who cares? Who cares? God talking. In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel, with shamefacedness and sobriety, not with broided hair or gold or pearls or costly array. Can you imagine that? Amen. Here you got a dress. That cost eight, nine, one thousand, twelve hundred dollars yeah. for a dress, and the material is just polyester. <laughs> all you doing is paying for the name. That's all. That's it. That's right. Nothing else. That's right. And you clean it one time. <laughs> it's now it's big enough for your little baby to wear. That's right. When you costly array, costly you done array. lived above your means. Oh, yeah. Amen. You that got pearls and all that stuff, the Bible's talking against it. That's right. Don't look at Pastor Jennings. It ain't Pastor Jennings' church, and it ain't Pastor Jennings' book. Leave it to Pastor Jennings. I wouldn't care if you wore a pearl on your head. <laughs> in right. fact, if you wore the whole clam, <laughs> what would I care? What would you care? It's just in the Bible, and I'm simply preaching. That's it. That's right. People tell me, my over, Pastor, when they meet me in the airport, other places, Pastor Jennison, shake my hand. Oh, I know that you don't wear a ring. I say, no, I don't wear a ring. I'm married, and I don't mind acting like it. Amen. One man said, I noticed you never wear a watch. I, I just don't like nothing on my wrist. Right. That's just my personal preference. I don't like nothing on my wrist. Amen. Amen. My children and my, a lot of old timers that bought me watches, pocket watches, and I don't like nothing too much weighing in my pocket. Mm -hmm. Hey Amen. Mm -hmm. They're at home. I wind them up and look at them, turn them on. <laughs> but I personally don't like nothing on my wrist. But right. if men, brothers who do got watches on their wrist, they ain't got to have nothing flashy. No. Uh, you ain't got to have none of all that diamond face and a $10,000 for a watch. For a watch. You ain't got to flaunt what you have. Costly array. Just be modest with it. That's right. That's all. Just be modest with your watch. Be modest with everything you got. That's right. Let's call it a day. You ain't got to let no, if you're a millionaire, you ain't got to advertise it. That's right. All these chains around your neck like you a miniaturized version of Mr. T. <laughs> Rings on every finger and all that stuff. You look at these young rappers, that's all they do. That's what they do. Half naked, exploit women, women all over their house, half naked yeah. and chains everywhere and got cars jumping up and down. That's not for God's people. That's right. 
brothers in the church don't have big dice hanging from the mirror of your car. No way. And you ain't got rubber testicles thrown your pickup truck back. That's right. My right, I said. Amen. Go ahead. Go ahead. And sisters ain't got eyelashes on the headlights of your car. <laughs> Go ahead. Put a difference. Put a difference between holy and unholy. And between unclean and clean. Yeah, this is, this is Holy Ghost teaching here. It's Holy Ghost teaching. And this is the teaching that has become obsolete. That's right. Obsolete. And there's some folk there get baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, but they won't follow on to know the Lord. Right. You get baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, then you stop there and say, I ain't doing nothing else. Then you're going to go to hell oh. with the right baptism. Right from there. Because after you're born again, there's a rule here in Acts 2.42. And they continue to They kept it up. Fastly. After the apostles preached to repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, and received the baptism of the Holy Ghost, the Bible says. And they continued steadfast. They kept it up. In the apostles' doctrine. They stood. They continued. kept following the teaching. That's right. Continue. In other words, there were other things they had to learn. That's right. And other things that they knew they had to do. That's right. So after you be baptized, that's good. That's good. But it's not enough. Oh, no. You got to follow on to know the Lord. Oh, oh. And Jesus said, learn of me. That's right. And for you to learn of him, you got to be constantly taught. It's like going to school. Yeah. Ain't nobody learn their ABCs and just stop at D. <laughs> no way. <laughs> A, B, C, D, and didn't say, I know the alphabet. No, you don't. I have a very limited vocabulary, Pastor. Very limited. Very limited vocabulary and very limited in spelling. That's right. What words you going to spell? You got to mm -hmm. stop at D. Mm -hmm. And, and what? Well, what about words that may not have A, B, C, or D in it? Then what? Then what? <laughs> you get what I'm telling you. Amen. My job is to give you all what the Bible says. Acts 2, 38, let me knock off. Then Peter said unto them, repent. All right, Washington. Amen. It's time for you to get yourself right. You've been on the streets of D.C. and Maryland too long. Yeah. Hanging on the corner with your buddies, singing and drinking. Amen. Tip of your fingers is all brown from smoking them joints and roaches. Yeah. You got a bar in your house now. You just restocked it. That's right. From Whole Foods. <laughs> Went to the neighborhood liquor store, got your Jack Daniels, got your bourbon. You got it up there, your rum. Yeah. Amen. You mm. got it all there, all stocked up. Stocked. Talking about, you know what, man, I enjoy that, Pastor Jen. <laughs> Some of you look at me while you're drinking beer. While you're drinking beer. You and your girlfriend's in bed watching us. Looking at her. You hear what he said? She's like, won't you turn him off? I'm tired of listening to him. Yeah, I know, but he's telling the truth. Yeah. He may be telling the truth, but come on, baby. You know, it's time. It's time. Time for you to go to hell. <laughs> you better change. That's right. Bible says in Acts 2.38. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Repent, repent, repent. 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 God wants you to be sorry about being so wicked. Yeah. Be sorry about being. Don't you know the word of God, the truth of God is a gift to you? Oh, yes. It's a gift for you in these last days. That's God right. didn't cut you off, kept you around so you can hear his divine word. Go ahead. You know what? Then Peter said unto them, repent. Repent. And be baptized every one of you. Be baptized every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. For what? For the remission of sin. You was born in sin. Preachers have taught you you're born a sinner. No, you're not. No, you're not. A sinner is one that commit plural acts of sin. When you was born, you ain't did nothing. No. You was born with one sin, and you inherited that from the first man, Adam. Adam. You was born in the world with sin and shaped in iniquity. That's right. Are you listening to the old man? Then Peter said unto them, repent. 
Repent of your sins. And be baptized. The Bible ain't tell you, you bow your head and raise your hand. The Bible ain't taught that mess. No. Your lying reverend told you. That's right. The Bible ain't tell you prayer, sinners, prayer. There ain't never been in the Bible. No. Come on back to what the Word of God says. Then Peter repent said, Repent of your sins repent. and be baptized. Every one of you. How? In the name of Jesus Christ. How? In the name of Jesus Christ. You were baptized, Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. The name, the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost is Jesus, and He's the Christ. That's right. Just like I'm a son and I'm a husband and I'm a father. I'm a son by birth, I'm a husband by marriage, I'm a father because my wife and I got seven children. Yeah. But my name ain't son, husband, or father. No. My name is Jennings. That's right. Listen at this. Then Peter said unto them, Repent. Repent. And be baptized every one of you. How? In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, what? For the remission of sins. And what did he promise? And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Anybody Ghost. Anybody want to be Bible right today? Right according to Scripture. That's it. And be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Stand on your feet, Washington, if you want to be right today. <laughs> oh, let take God. All of you that are standing, go to the back. All of you that are standing. Hallelujah. Here we go again. Isn't that wonderful? Hallelujah. Come on, DC. Glory to God, look ahead. <laughs> Amen. 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 <laughs> Amen. Wonderful. Come on, DC. Wonderful. Repent! Repent! Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 